say hi. We're moving. We're moving. How do you feel? <laughs> It's you. We are moving. It doesn't even feel real yet. It's been a very emotional, honestly, six months. Like, Zach has been actively applying to jobs outside of Jacksonville for six months. It has been... Say hi. It has definitely been very emotional getting attached to certain locations and those locations not working out. But the door to Fort Lauderdale swung wide open and we're moving to Fort Lauderdale. My parents actually live outside of Fort Lauderdale so we're gonna be living with them until we can find a place, an area that we really like that makes sense. Hopefully we can find a community as well, just a great church. We're gonna put everything in storage. That way when we do find a place, we can just take everything out and fill it up. But yeah, Zach got a new job. I'm I'm so excited for him. He has been looking forward to this for a while. If you've job hunted before, you already know it is just so mentally draining. So I'm thankful that he will be out of that season and like going into a new one that is just a little bit more rewarding and exciting. But yeah, it's crazy. Like this is the first home that I brought Theo to and it's just so emotional in that way. And then it's also emotional leaving Jacksonville. We've been in Jacksonville for four years and we have just seen so much of the Lord in this town and seen so much of the Lord through the people in this town. and so. So it really is like heartbreaking leaving this community. I've never been a part of a people like this. So it's so bittersweet, but it's also like we have our own family and we have to take care of ourselves. And if there's no opportunity here for Zach's career, we have to go somewhere that'll help us reach our goals and help us own a home one day and all the things. It's tough, but it's also just a part of life, taking care of your family, making sure you're making wise decisions to end up where you wanna be. We have a lot that we need to do today. We have to go to Walmart and get some moving boxes. I have already done so so much in the house already. All of Theo's decorations are kind of off the wall, except for these two photos right here, but for the most part, his room is so different. Like, it's so sad. Also, let's just do a little bit of a Theo update because it's been a while. Hey, the man is walking. <laughs> hey, are you... hi, are you excited? Let's show them what you got, okay? Where is your hair? <gasps> Good job. Where's your nose? Okay, where's your nose? Where's your nose? No. Where's your mouth? <laughs> Where are your hands? Hands. Where are your fingers? Fingers. Where's your head? Head. Where is your teeth? <laughs> where's your crib? Crib! Good job! Where's the window? Window. Where's your tent? <laughs> Yay! Oh! Hey, bugs. He loves laying on this little pillow in here. We got this for his first birthday, which honestly I think is the last video I have of like really just him. But yeah, Theo is a big boy now. Are you big boy? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. It's just so bittersweet. Like we're leaving this season where I was vlogging like being a new mom and now we're gonna be somewhere Dad. else. How does that make you feel? Dad. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna let him play in here and give you guys an update on the house. So this is his closet. I just went through the entire thing and boxed up like all of his old clothes, got rid of so many things that I know we're not gonna use, donated clothes that he's not gonna wear. So the closet is pretty much done. I'm waiting to pack this thing up because he uses a lot of this stuff every day. So I'll probably pack this in the last week we're here. But yeah, for the most part, his room is still pretty much together. I was gonna sell this rug, but I'm too emotionally attached to it. So we're keeping it and we're just gonna put it in storage, bringing his crib to the house obviously and I'll probably just keep the same decor style and just recreate it at my parents house coming down here normally keep our shoes in here I donated a lot I know you can't tell I probably need to get rid of more because I really just wear the same like three shoes probably gonna get rid of the vacuum because it's kind of crusty so whatever our next place is we'll probably just get a new vacuum I'm gonna close this door okay I also got rid of a lot of sheets because a lot of the sheets that we had I didn't really like so we only have one set of sheets 
and I want to go to the store and get just one more set. And then we have these coats. I'm trying to decide. Thank you. I'm trying to decide what coats I want to keep because we're moving to South Florida and I feel like I've held on to those coats for so long and we never use them. So I might end up donating them just because whenever we move, we move a lot. Unfortunately, we've probably moved like five times in the past four years. I like to get rid of a lot of stuff. I just like to keep everything pretty minimalistic. So I might end up getting rid of the coats. Current state of our bedroom. Not really a whole lot going on to begin with. We're going to get rid of this bed frame because it's actually broken when we bought it. It just wasn't in the best shape. We got it on Facebook Marketplace and then it just ended up like collapsing. Like it's not, it's not good quality. I think it's like from Wayfair. We're getting a new bed frame tonight actually and we're going to put it together at my parents' house. Keeping these two dressers, trying to get rid of these lamps. Not sure about the wall art. And then as far as the clothes in the closet go, I have no clue how big the closets are at my parents' house. This is literally all of Zach's clothes right here and the rest are mine so I'm gonna have to go through them even though I try to keep it pretty minimalistic and then I've gotten rid of like three different suitcases already but honestly the main reason I'm filming all of this is because I'm going to miss this house like even though it was kind of tight and very small it was literally the perfect amount of space that we needed for me Zach and Theo I just want to remember every single tiny crevice of this home because it's just such a special moment in our life living here bringing Theo home like it is just so surreal that we're leaving we move in 13 days so I have a lot to do I'm trying not to stress out we've known that we were going to move but now that it's official it just feels intense like we have a lot to do Thea what do you think about all this do you even know what's happening like I feel so bad he's not even gonna really know what's gonna hit him like we're not gonna live here anymore Theo this isn't gonna be your room for much longer are you trying to get in there <laughs> store I'm gonna give you guys an update of the downstairs so we sold the dining room table yesterday I sobbed because it looks so empty in here now got rid of all the bar stools as well on Facebook marketplace probably gonna sell these wall shelves and kind of donate a majority of what's on the wall shelves except for the books we are keeping the couch and putting it in storage because I'm obsessed with it and I feel like wherever we go after my parents it'll be so nice to just like lay on my couch for the first time again we're gonna keep this rug and put it in Theo's room because their floor is upstairs are all hardwood so they don't have any carpet so I think this will be good for Theo's room I'm trying to sell this entertainment center but it's not selling I don't know why I feel like it's really cute keeping the TV for our room I'm trying to sell this patio set because we won't have a patio obviously at least like not our own and they already have patio furniture but yeah this is our home it's so weird like leaving this place that I became a mom in like it just feels crazy like we used to snuggle on this couch every morning and now I'm gonna be at somebody else's home like it's just crazy it's temporary temporary and the whole city will be like such a new thing. I'm nervous, but I'm also excited to be taking steps towards the future. So we're gonna go to Walmart and get some boxes. Little Theo man, you ready to go to the store? Yeah. yeah? There's actually like a kid's thrift store next to the Walmart that I'm going to. So I think I'm gonna run in there first and see if they have some kid's shoes because Theo has already grown out his shoes that I just bought him like last month. So I'm gonna see if they have some cute little shoes. It's like barely used stuff. And then after that, we'll go to Walmart and get some boxes. I love these because of the pop of color. I'm not sure about these because they're like fuzzy on the inside. And I feel like he'll outgrow these really quick. But look how cute. They're like these little loafers. Even these loafers are so adorable. Just finished at the thrift store. I'm going to get Theo a little snack because poor buddy is hungry. I should have fed him like a full meal before we left. But I got so much stuff in there. It's literally insane. I'm going to show you first these shoes. Are you kidding? They're so cute. I love the pop of color. It was 25% off $9. I got everything for $40. I think that's pretty good. I got this adorable little gray matching set. It may be kind of hard to show you guys because I'm holding Theo, but these are the pants and this is the shirt. It is literally so cute and cozy. Then I got this adorable little flannel. Like, look at the print. 
Tell me that's not the cutest thing ever, and that'll look so cute on him. I might do this haul at home, because I feel like the footage is crusty, but I will show you everything at the house. I'm gonna let him finish his snack, and then we're gonna go to Walmart. It's literally right around the corner. Hopefully he will last with just a snack, but we'll see. We're at Walmart, we got some boxes. They're all out of the small, so I just got seven medium ones. If we end up needing small, we'll just go to another Walmart. High five. <laughs> okay, that was so chaotic, but we made it back home. I'm feeding Theo some sweet potatoes with chicken and butter and cinnamon, and he is crushing it. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I showed you the seven medium-sized boxes that I got, and then I just got two of these tape rollers, and I also got Theo just a plain white tee. But let me show you all the clothes that I thrifted at kid to kid because it's so good. Here are the clothes. <laughs> First up, which I tried showing you guys the stuff in the car, but I feel like the lighting wasn't doing it justice. Matching set, so cute. I'm gonna pack it for his trip to Georgia for Christmas because it's not gonna get cold in Fort Lauderdale. These cute little orange shoes. This cute little green flannel from Zara. This one was $6. I think it's so adorable. This flannel is from Calvin Klein. $2. Come on. This cute little zip up hoodie, like this denim hoodie. I thought it was really cute. This one was $10, but I've been looking for something like this. It has a little hood. I don't know how long he'll be able to fit this. It says 3T, but it looks kind of small. And he's already outgrowing like the 2Ts. Sage green long sleeve striped shirt. Pretty thin material, so I think he could wear this to like church or something like that. This really cute matching set beige, but we don't call them sad beige babies. We call them cute sandy babies, you know? This little beige set, very thin fabric. This would be cute for like an outfit or even pajamas. And then lastly, just these little gray, they kind of look cargo-y, like they have some texture down here or pattern, I don't know, but just some gray pants. But I feel like this was such a good haul. Like all the flannel, all the denim, very cute. Zach is on the way home right now. He should be home in like 15 minutes. Gonna do a frozen pizza tonight because we're picking up a new bed frame. It looks like this, so I'm excited to have like an airy, bright look. I don't know, I'm falling for the beige. I love the beige and maybe I'll look back and be like really regretful at my style like I am with all of my previous home decor, but I am a sucker for the beige and the whites. I think it is so airy and pretty and I way prefer it over the dark grays and whites and grays. I don't like gray, I like beige. <laughs> He likes to come out here and wait for daddy. I apologize for how crusty I look right now. It's actually the next day. My camera died as soon as Zach got home, so I didn't get the cute video of Theo like freaking out that daddy was home, but trying to get more into vlogging. The vlogs are gonna be a little bit shorter. That way I can put out more videos and not be super intimidated to have like this really long video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow me on TikTok because I'm doing a lot of moving series vlogs on there as well. Tomorrow we are taking some cute pictures on the beach to say goodbye to Jacksonville. I'm gonna post those as the announcement, so make sure you watch the next video because that'll be in the vlog. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.